the the funny thing is you start out with the 2009 and uh, let's see at that point uh, my wife and I had a few kids and they were very young at the time and uh, but what that means is, is I was watching a lot of Disney or Pixar <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, unfortunately, a lot of my references were Disney and Pixar. And one of them in particular that had come out, which was crazy, was uh, Finding Nemo, right? You know, the little clownfish. And uh, the, the, the uh, Nemo's little partner there, Dory, uh, is the, uh, you know, indefatigable optimist in there uh, and uh, had the line, keep on swimming. Keep Just on keep swimming. swimming. Yes. Exactly. And yes. I used that line way back then. Uh, because it also is something that we need to remember that it's incumbent upon us that even though we don't want to get up in the morning or we just rue the fact that I'm going to have to go face these employees or, you know, damn it, it's another month of, uh, you know, looking at substandard performance. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got to keep forging ahead. You know, people yeah. are counting upon us. And so, you know, it's important to continue that, to persevere and be persistent. So anyway, you, uh, you uh, you coupled that nicely. Start off a little Monty Python, which uh, I do that too. We do a, a gratitude segment, which yeah. I think in sales too, with especially ambitious salespeople, as you know, I know you have them, you have many of them, yes. is it's really easy for ambitious salespeople to look at the negativity and all the things, the deal that didn't happen. And when we when we land a deal, it's like, yeah, yeah, no, of course I should have. But the one I didn't get, let me tell you about that. And I, and I will yeah. play that clip from Monty yeah. Python and so many folks in our industry, well, the young folks haven't seen it. So I'm like, all right, here's a little education that's really important. Here's who Monty yeah. Python is and all that. Uh, so dovetailing Monty Python with Finding Nemo. I love it. That's uh, that's right up my alley. And I'm off, I often think about like Tom Peters and his MBWA management by walking around it's kind of a classic yeah. idea but just that to your point being present because in a vacuum in a leadership vacuum some voices some people are going to fill that and sometimes they might not be the ideal people to share their perspective on what's happening in the industry or just kind of the day-to-day -day. so I, I i love that point well taken <laughs> 